from Mexico City. It's our first day here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog, but I'm definitely gonna do the outfits. And so that's what this is. We're gonna do our outfits. Um, I probably will change at least twice a day. <laughs> so there'll be a lot of outfit selections. As always, I will link what I can. Um, and then if not, give you guys good substitutes and compliments. Um, Really quick, let's give a word for our sponsors today. Um, really quick to Miss Guided for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I really didn't know what I wanted to pack for this trip. I know I wanted to do some shopping, um, but I really wanted to be more casual. And so a Miss Guided reached out, says, hey, we kind of want to work with you. I was like, great, I need all the things for Mexico City. So thanks for them for coming through in the clutch. Um, so all the outfits that I link that'll be Miss Guided, I'll make sure that I'll tell you. I'm even probably gonna see if I can't get husband to be in some of the looks because he actually dresses really nice um so yeah i'll just make sure once again thank you miss guided for sponsoring today's video and let's just get into today's look all right so guys we are in our bathroom i did a little quick tour of the airbnb i'll put it up i'll also link it if you want it but this is my outfit i'm going very casual this is a opry ski v-neck I have a V-neck graphic tee that I got from Miss Guided. I got it oversized because I wanted to be able to knot it. So I actually did get this in a 12. And then I got these really cute, they're pants, but they actually fit really great. They have a lot of stretch, not that much. So I actually did have to get a 10 in these and they actually feel really good. And then we're gonna be doing a lot of walking and museums and stuff like that. So um, I got these Sam Edelman shoes from Belk. So misguided, misguided, of course. I had to bring one of my hats. I only brought one this time. I brought the brown one. I think this is called the coffee one. And I'm actually wearing an extra large because I am doing protective styling. Do you want to do your... So this is what we're calling casual these days. This is casual. This is casual. Are, are, are you, are you supposed to be casual? Casual. You hear that? Casual? Those don't sound like casual things. This is misguided. This is quality. Quality. Okay. Right. okay. Do you want to... What are we wearing up here? Uh, this top crew neck sweater is from Zara. I think I bought this uh, last time we were in Rome, I believe. Uh, actually, the first time I've worn it, so. Pulled it I out for, for a trip. Maybe it went to Rome three years ago. First time I wore it. Okay. So, uh, pants and shoes from Boohoo. People know I talk about Boohoo all the time on my page. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, this Tuesday, November oh, yeah. 16th, make sure you come out. Both of these Let's pieces see. are new. And we'll you know be on called? the site. Guys, uh, if you're looking for to get your man some good jewelry pieces, he doesn't have a collection that often comes out every couple of months and it sells out every time. But that's a cute lion and he's got the little um, rope chain and then he's got a little cute hazma. Not too much. It's just got that one pave diamond there on a longer chain. So that's the king of the jungle and the hand of Hamza. I'll link them for you below if they're still available. So... That's what we're wearing. Now, are you ready to go? I am. Let's go. That's right. All right, guys. It is Saturday. We went nowhere last night. I was absolutely exhausted after doing a lot more shopping than we intended. So we just kind of like crashed at home and had all the snacks. So we're up bright and early. If it looks like I've been crying, it's because we just got COVID tested. I am missing a nail. So there's that. Um, we just got COVID tested. They came to our... Um, Airbnb and the people at the Airbnb set it up so we didn't have to do any phone calls I just told them what time and when and they just they showed up so we just got through getting COVID tested we're gonna go out and grab some breakfast and then I have absolutely no idea what we're gonna do next I know I kind of want to do a museum I don't know which one museum Mexico City just has like so many museums I figure it's like a I don't know I feel it's like disrespectful for you not to visit as many as you can while you're here so we have made a goal to do one a day so that's what we're going to do one today I don't know which one but we're going to try to do one I kind of like the um Bella Artes Museum or the I think it's I don't know I'll link them I don't know I'm trying to I'm trying to pronounce them I can't remember off the top of my head so let me take you guys into the kitchen oh that's the baby that I just got that I am wearing yes I just got it and I'm wearing it today so let me Take you guys into the bathroom. Why did I say kitchen bathroom to show you today's outfit? All right, so this is what we have going on today. Like I said, not too much, but kind of want to be a little cute. I got this really, really cute, like tank 
something sweater that I got from this guy that's absolutely perfection. I love it. I got it in a large. I probably will get, I know they have another color. I probably will get it in a medium, but I just, I love the concept of this little cute, like, I guess short sleeve sweater. Anyway, and I just have it paired with a pair of my Bershka mom jeans and then some green flats. I have on green because it is a little cool outside, so I'm going to put on one of the jackets, either the cropped one that I brought with me or the one from Zara that I got yesterday. And then I just have it paired with my little pochette Matisse that I got from the Louis store yesterday. I kind of wanted the signature all over, but they didn't have that in stock. And so they only had this color, um, color wave. And I was like, I'll grab it. I just really liked this bag. And so I grabbed it. So that's what we're wearing for comfort today. All right, so guys, we are, we made it back. Um, we actually separated. So after brunch or breakfast, we went our separate ways. Um, did the things and now we're back so we're about to head to dinner um it's right down the street it's a little cute um mexican spot i am i am vlogging this so if you were wondering i know i was on the fence about whether i was going to vlog this trip or not i am currently vlogging it so i'm not going to give all the details in this video because this is just a what i wore but we're about to get ready to head to dinner and i just changed really quick because i had walked like 12,000 steps in my first outfit and it was through so i am changing so let me turn you guys around to show you this outfit so that we can head out for dinner all right so this is what we are looking like for dinner i am low-key obsessed with this shirt so the entire outfit is from misguided like misguided came through for your girl and i appreciate it um so we have this top now really quick this top i'll just pop up a picture here it has this thing that's like really really long but i was trying to go like i was trying to be cute but not too cute and to me if i had that like thing to, like left out i probably would have had to do like some kind of heels or a tall boot and i didn't bring any of that with me because i'm going for comfort so i just simply have it tucked in you can kind of see it just a little bit right there I'll probably make that a little bit more smoother <laughs> before we head out but i just have it tucked in and so it still kind of gives like an elevated look but not too too dressy um and then i also did get this a little oversized because i had um most of the time with like these shirts my arms are a little big so i did get a 10 so that it would fit the arms but then as a result this v-neck is entirely too much so i just have little black sports bra tank kind of situation going on so you can't see like all the goods and then i have it paired with these really cute form slim fitting black jeans high-waisted love them i got these in an eight and then i just have it paired with my target mules because like i said i'm going for comfort i didn't really bring any fancy shoes on this trip guys i really went for comfort so i have my combat boots but that's like as big of a heel as I'm gonna get. I brought no, I brought nothing fancy on this trip. So this is what we're looking like. I still think it's really cute. Um, and then of course the mules give it a little bit more of a casual tone. So that's what we're looking like today or tonight. All right guys, it is Sunday. We are dressed, I'm dressed very casual. We are headed to grab some brunch. I'm gonna take an Uber because I don't feel like walking 15 minutes. And then um, it's gonna be my vlog, but me and husband separated yesterday, as we normally do on trips, and I wanted to go to check out a couple of museums. He wanted to go to a cigar shop. So when I was leaving one of the museums, I just started like randomly walking because I knew there was some shopping and I ran into like this huge market. It was humongous. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this because if I do it and I tell William about it, he's going to want to come back here tomorrow. So I didn't do it. I just went ahead and did some shopping along like the street. And so we're going to head back over there. I actually want to check out the Bella Artist Museum that's over there. And then they have like a really good gold shopping area. So I kind of want to get a gold piece. Um, I like to get a piece of jewelry and a piece of art wherever I go and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get art while I'm here so I do kind of want to get a piece of jewelry um, and then we're going to check out that huge market so it's definitely going to be on the vlog so make sure you check out the vlog that's going to come out after this one um, hopefully the next video if I can sit down to edit it <laughs> um, so let me turn you around or take you into the bathroom to show you today's look it's very casual I think you've seen it last week or whenever I did the all black but let me show you all right, so this is the look that we have going on today. It's very simple. Like I said, you guys have seen this. I did, this dress was in the what I wore this week, all black condition. This is the black knit dress that I told you guys about. Got it in an extra large. I didn't know it came with a belt. Clearly I have lost the belt. I don't think you need the belt. And then it has like a little cute slit on the side. I have it paired with my Sam Edelman sneakers because we plan on doing a lot of walking. And then I wasn't really sure what to do with my hair. So I got, I literally got on Pinterest and I Googled um, Havana twist hairstyles. This was like the third one that 
came up and I was like, oh, I have a scarf. So I had this and I brought two, I brought this one. So I'll probably maybe try to find something to wear with this one tomorrow, but I like it because it still, it has my hair down. I kind of like a little swoof, but then it's not like all on my neck because the scarf kind of like gets it off my neck a little bit. So that's what I'm wearing today. Oh, I didn't get husband's outfit yesterday. Let's see if we can't get his outfit today. Babe? Babe? Yeah. Can you stand up so that the people can see what you're wearing? Oh. Gee, thanks for the heads up. Well, I, I realized I didn't get you yesterday, and I feel the people. Those pants look new. Are they new? These pants are about three years old. Okay. They came from Bershka in Rome when we were in Rome. Okay. There's a Bershka here. Did I tell you that? Yes. Okay. We went into one. I'm we? saying the bigger one is down there where we're going. Yeah. Uh, this is from Mango, just a navy blue bummer jacket, and then this little white button down. Uh, Oxford shirt I've had for a number of years. I don't tend to throw stuff away. It came from Gap way back in the day. Kohans. And Kohans, which is my staple go-to loafer. Glasses? Uh, just some little cheap frames from uh, Forever 21. Forever 21. The good thing about them is they are shades, but they actually lighten everything up so I can wear them inside and not have to worry about you telling me to take my frames off inside <gasps> because it's not darker. Oh, it's lighter. Okay, do we have any jewelry on? Uh, so we have a watch here from my man CRP3 in Birmingham. It's a black owned, firefighter owned oh, watch that. company that I've been helping, you know, just do a little marketing for. Them. I'll link it below for you guys. Uh, my ring, uh, this is my dad's ring oh. in place of my wedding ring that I wear out of town or out of the country. And then uh, my GQ ring from GQ. All right. Peace this out. Is Jesse. And this is all the shopping that we've done thus far. I think we're done. Uh, the majority of that is yours. I'm going to do a video or maybe, I don't know, a haul or maybe I'll do a what I wore this week stuff that I got from Mexico City, but it's all in this area. So, all right, quick outfit change. We are headed out to a cute little rooftop that has like food and drinks and hookah. So I decided to just go with all black. I had to wear these pants again because they are just that good, <laughs> they feel so good. So I have the same pants on, same shoes I had on yesterday. I just have this little cute black satin um, uh, blouse that I have kind of like knotted in the front. And that's what we're looking like, guys. These pants feel so good, <laughs> feel so good. So I, and then I have these. I was, like I said, I was gonna put on my combat boots, but I kind of am going for like a sexier vibe and the combat boots are a little edgy. I probably am going to wear husband's beige jacket because I'm tired of wearing the green one that I've been wearing like all <laughs> the whole trip because I didn't bring, I didn't bring a coat because coats are heavy and thick to pack. So I literally didn't pack a single coat Got the one that I've been wearing from Zara like the, 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 the next day that we got here and I've been wearing it ever since. So I'm gonna put on, try to put on something different. Probably that one. That way it looks a little bit more fancier. So this is what we're looking like for our Sunday night. All right guys, it is our last day. What's going on with my hair? It's our last full day in Mexico City and I'm experiencing major FOMO. We I didn't realize how big Mexico City was until yesterday. Um, last night we went to this really, really nice rooftop restaurant. The food, well, you'll see it in the vlog. The food was mediocre, but the drinks and the hookah, really good. And so when we were up there, you got to see like all of Mexico City. And I realized that we didn't, we weren't here long enough. We probably should have stayed another week, but that's okay. Cause we'll just come back. It's just something about, I haven't been to a single city in Mexico where I wasn't like absolutely obsessed. I love everything about the culture the people the food the vibes i just love mexico like in a perfect world we would retire here we're going to retire we're going to make plans to retire to mexico because i love it that much anyway so we are staying close to our home base i know the last couple of days we went out um doing solo stuff and we just went out different parts of the city here we're going to stay at home base we are based off of colima street and so we're just kind of like stay around here walk around because as we were taking an uber yesterday we we're like we haven't even explored our own neighborhood and there was like so many cute shops we were passing in the air in the uh, uber so we're going to stay here husband's actually gone to a cigar spot because some of his friends was like hey man bring me back some cubans too so he's headed there he's actually i think he said he's on his way back and then we're gonna head out 
out, grab some breakfast slash brunch slash lunch, and then explore the city and probably make our way to some like local shops. So I just got through. I tried to edit <laughs> my self-care vlog with the internet while i love living in mexico uh or visiting the wi-fi here is just not conducive to edit a video so that's going to be late but i just got through writing in my travel journal i take this with me just and i literally just write in it whenever um we travel and i love it because i got um as i was in the uber yesterday i saw a little girl probably was maybe like four or five and with her um dad and they were just like walking one of the busiest streets and she had this ice cream cone and i think he sensed that she was frustrated so they stopped in between like these two food stalls and sat on a corner and she was just like eating her ice cream and then she did this to her dad and i saw that through airbnb i meant through my uber and i'm just like i don't know why that hit me i'm just like sheds tears so anyway i wrote about that and kind of like basically why that touched me in some kind of way so anyway all that said i'm very casual today you guys know that i wasn't going to come to mexico city and not do like a white shirt look hello you know how i am i love a white tee so let me turn you guys around let me take you into the bathroom to show you today's final look all right like i said we were going very casual today i do have on my little cute h&m scarf because i feel like i like my hair down but i don't want it in my face so i got grabbed these cute h&m scarves to kind of get it off of my um neck and in my face i have this nice cute button up there's nothing fancy about it except it's just like really lightweight you can tell it's kind of sheer because you can see my black bra under here but i like it because like i said it's very lightweight it is a little cool outside so i'm going to take a coat but i just thought this was really cute and then i have on these green pants oh besides this outfit is all this outfit except for the belt um so we got h&m here this is a misguided shirt this is I literally just bought this belt in Mexico City. I have no idea. I bought it from a vendor who was selling belts because I needed a belt. Because I got these green pants. I thought that they were going to fit like, I don't know. I guess I thought the fit was going to be a little bit slimmer. And so it's not. So I had to get the like a belt to kind of taper the waist. I thought about getting them like tailored to kind of fit. But then I kind of like the oversized belt slim look so i think i'm going to leave these like this because i mean all of our fan all of our pants can't fit tight right so i'm gonna leave these like this is and i kind of like the um contrast between like the little crop top and then the pants and i just have it on with a pair of little black target mules and so I don't know husband's like are you going for like a soho vibe no but i appreciate it i thank you thank you very much the whole time i don't know why this is another thing the whole time i've been here i've gotten mistaken for being from europe and i like before it even before i'm even able to like say anything or like talk i'm always asking am i from europe and i'm like no i'm from united states of america unfortunately but i don't know i'm assuming that this i don't know i guess it's been the way that i've been dressing lately but i feel like i haven't dressed any different from when i dress when i'm back home anyway this is what we're looking like i don't know if i'm going to change um to go out for dinner or if we're just gonna like walk so much we're probably just gonna crash and go down the street and get some tacos from the street vendor because that's what we've been doing lately like there is a street vendor probably like a block and a half that has the best tacos i've ever tasted and they were the equivalency of like a dollar 25 per taco and i'm okay with that so anyway this is our final look for mexico all right and that is the end of today's video be sure to look out for the vlogs you can see all of these outfits in action and then once again big ups to misguided for sponsoring today's video and making sure to hook up your girl with all the outfits that she needed from mexico if you're still here go ahead and subscribe also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me like comment and subscribe and do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do catch you guys later bye